Hello, hello, Jamie Haggett here, coming to you live from Carthage, New York. Quick question, could you use some extra cash right now? Some money. I think we all would love to have a little bit extra money, especially if it's already ours. So stay tuned, I am going to tell you how to find if you have some money out there that's yours that you can claim. So if you um, are wondering what I'm talking about, it's called unclaimed funds, okay? And every state in the United States has a Bureau of Unclaimed Funds. So whether you live in California, Virginia, New York, New York is where I am, they have this. And I was surprised to find how many of my friends actually have unclaimed funds. So this started last year. Um, we did it as, um, I think it was a recommendation from my mother-in-law's estate lawyer, I think. Anyway, we started looking. So to start looking, you could basically type in the state that you live in or have lived in and type unclaimed funds. So for New York, it would be NYS or New York State Unclaimed Funds, okay? And once you go there, you just type in your name. Easy peasy, right? Now for some people, like if your name is John Smith, there might be a lot of them that you have to sort through, and they do. But you could put in, I would I don't suggest putting in your town because that limits your search. So, if, um, you know, like for us, so my name is Haggett, I typed in Haggett, and I left the first name blank and it showed all the Haggetts, which there's a lot of them, by the way. But I found one for my mother-in-law who was deceased. So we put in the paperwork and we claimed those funds. They went into her estate, all was well and good. So I have a few tips for you. Number one, make sure it is the state site. You should not have to pay a dime to do a search. So don't go onto any pages that are not, um, that are, are not, uh, what's it called? They're not run by the state. So I think for New York State, it would be, it's like www.ocs something, something, something. Office of the Controller, basically. So number one, don't pay for the search and don't pay for the retrieval of your funds because it's free. Okay? Number two, um, once you have found your funds, go ahead and claim them. It's free. Easy money. Um, tip number three, again, um, limit... Uh, when you're searching, so for me, I, like I said, I typed in my last name, which is mandatory, but I left the full name and the city blank because that would, um, that opens up more possibilities. So the other thing I would suggest is um, maybe look in other states where you may have lived and other names you may have used. So for myself, um, I have lived in two three other states, two states. So I checked in all of those. Funny enough, I'm very tight with my money. I didn't have any, but I did find a lot for my family. Um, now, tip number four, if you're not computer savvy, um, there is an option to file for your claim through paper, which um, that's what we had to do for my mother-in-law's estate because we had to do the, you know, the executor, et cetera. But um, it's your money, like go get it, okay? Um, and if you need any help looking for this stuff or you know, you, you just, you can't seem to find the correct site, shoot me a message, I'll be more than happy to help because I've been doing this for some of my um, older family members. And if you're wondering how much money um, is out there, it's unlimited because, so let's see, for my mother-in-law, I think it was $70. Um, I had another family member who had a very large tax refund check that had gotten crossed in the mail like they moved from new york state to some other state so when they filed their taxes their new york state tax check got mailed to their new state address but by the time they got the check which they never got they had moved back to new york and it kind of they don't get forwarded whatever so they had a rather large new york state tax refund check um i've seen everything from you know, gift certificates, um, checks that weren't cashed by vendors, payroll checks that were never received. So, you know, the sky's the limit. Happy hunting. Um, 
I I recommend, you know, check for your, your elderly family members too, because a lot of them probably aren't going to learn or, yeah, they're not going to sit down and do this because it can get a little confusing. So again, happy hunting. And if you need help with any of that, you know, shoot me a message and I will, um, I will help you out as best I can. But uh, um, go get your money. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.